Hey guys, I'm the Tongue Man. This is my PC build. All my parts arrived today. Uh, my last PC build was back in 2010. Uh, it's actually the first few videos of my YouTube channel career. Um, if you guys want to see that, uh, go ahead and take a look at it. It's the first couple videos um, which started my uh, YouTube career. So uh, let me go over them real fast and uh, see what's in store. Uh, here you have my power supply. It's a Corsair 1200 watt power supply. Should provide plenty of juice for the motherboard, CPU, and the graphics card. Uh, the motherboard is a um, Asus uh, Republic of Gamers Strix. It's the X570 chipset. So. Um, this motherboard fully utilizes PCI Express 4.0 and uh, AMD's third gen Ryzen CPUs. CPU wise, I originally bought the Ryzen 5 3600X, but uh, I figured I'll utilize more cores and uh, for be better video processing and editing. So um, I got the Ryzen 9 as well. Um, so, uh, the difference is that the Ryzen 5 has six cores and the Ryzen 9 3900X has 12 cores. So it's double the cores, uh, same clock speeds, but the Ryzen 9 should be, uh, slightly faster. Um, the price difference is, uh, let's see, the Ryzen 5 was around $215 and then the Ryzen 9 is uh, close to 500, it's like 470 or 480 dollars. Uh, going down to my memory, uh, these are DDR4, uh, 3600 megahertz. Uh, there's four sticks, total of 64 gigabytes. Again, uh, Gen 4, PCI Express. Um, here is um, my M.2. Memory, uh, it's SSD. It's uh, this is Gen three, so I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna go ahead and use this Sabrent M.2 PCI Express 4.0. This is double the speed of PCI Express 3.0. So I'm gonna run this one. I have another one coming. I ordered two of them. So uh, because the motherboard supports two slots. M.2 and this is just my SATA hard drive. It's a backup. It's a 1.5 terabyte um, hard drive for uh, old pictures and videos and uh, and then I have my SATA SSD uh, Graphics card. I'm still running my GTX 1070 Ti. It runs well. It's not too bad It's uh, it's a bit outdated, but these cards are still like 500 bucks um, so, uh, should be more than enough. And then lastly, the case, this is a Fantec, uh, P400S. Um, I wanted, uh, I didn't want anything too flashy. I just want something plain. I didn't want the mesh in the front as well. Uh, so hopefully I don't suffer too much from airflow. Um, airflow will go through here and go through the bottom. Uh, it's got a red interior as well as um, RGB lights um, and then you can change them to whatever color you want uh, it's not a bad case uh, it's cheap it's like a hundred bucks uh, has USB 3.2 in the front headphone and microphone jack power on off and then you can change the fan speed and the lights right here yeah so uh, that's it that's the build I'm gonna go ahead and put it in so I'm not gonna do an install video. A lot of my followers already know how to build a PC. Uh, if you are new at building PCs, uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube um, that will show you step-by-step -step how to do it. It's, uh, it's really not that hard, it's really simple. Uh, you just have to uh, learn what not to do uh, so you don't waste money by uh, messing up your parts. But uh, overall, it's really, really easy. Here's my PC that I built back in 2010. Um, so you see here, it's a Asus motherboard, M4N82 Deluxe. Uh, it runs on DDR2 RAM, 
uh, PCI 2.0, uh, USB 2.0. Yeah, so it's really outdated. Uh, I got my Cooler Master V8, a CPU cooler, it's a fan cooler. Uh, it still has uh, IDE hard drives, SATA hard drives. Uh, I took the power supply out and I'm gonna put it on this new one. But uh, yeah, it's pretty basic. I've used this computer to uh, do all my videos in the past 10 years. So it, it's pretty capable, although it's really outdated, but uh, it's done really well for me. And uh, 10 years old, so I thought I'll upgrade and uh, go with the red theme with uh, more updated technology. Yeah, thank you for watching guys.